Uh, what do you think of the actuación del camarón? Wow, I mean everyone here. I mean, it's becoming an attraction, just like uh, just like you want to see these, these fighters get moved. He hasn't even fought for a world title yet, but he's already getting the attention of world champions. He wants Shakur Stevenson. He wants Tank Davis. He wants all that smoke. Lightweight division is a lower division. You can put Williams a pit against any of them. I'm not saying he'll beat them, but he'll definitely compete with them and hold his own. Sergio, Shakur says it's easy to work against uh, Cepeda. What do you make of those comments? Oh, he said again? Shakur says it's easy to work against Cepeda. What do you make? Do you think it'll be a competitive fight for what you saw tonight? Uh, look, I think Shakur Stevenson is, is probably the best fighter at 135. I mean, I respect, I'll respect to Lomachenko, but Lomachenko has already gone through his wars. I think Stevenson's next. Styles make fights, and we know that Stevenson's just a beast. So I would favor him in that fight. I, would, I just think he's a sniper. Uh, he doesn't engage. I don't think he'll, he'll let Zapata fight Zapata's fight. But definitely. Well, I want to get, get, get your point of view as well. Mugia obviously gets that Canelo fight. What do you make of, you know, two Mexicans? Finally, Canelo is willing to, you know, face a fellow Mexican well, once again. First of all, we don't make it. Second of all, credit to Goldenberg because they did their job with Jaime Mugia. They did exactly what they, they wanted to do with him. They, they built him up. They got him all these fights, you know. Even when people wanted to see Mugia, you know, put against tougher competition, the ultimate goal was the Canelo fight, and now it's there. Mexicans... Uh, wanted to fight him Cinco de Mayo, it makes sense for everybody. Most boxing experts don't give Munguia much of a chance. What do, what do you think Munguia needs to do to, uh, you know, obviously to, to beat Canelo, hey, similar to what we bought him in Floyd Mayweather did? Munguia uh, just needs to continue doing what he's doing. He's going to be able to take the punches of Canelo. He takes a big shot. He's going to be a lot bigger. If there's no hydration clause, he's going to probably outweigh uh, Canelo by 20 plus pounds. That size is going to matter. Canelo hasn't been able to knock out opponents like he's been doing, and I don't know if it's because of the power or the fluctuating weight or the years. Either way, I mean, he has youth and his resilience is going to be enough to make it a fight. Sergio, do you think we see Ryan on April 20th? Man, that's a great question. That's a great, I, I sure hope so, man, because we, we want that fight with Devin Haney. Um, I don't like what I'm seeing with Ryan Garcia. I don't think none of us do. I mean, it's, a, it's concerning. But, uh, you know, you live by social media, you die by social media, and right now he's being held you know, for all the all the things he's saying, and it just doesn't sound right. I just hope he pulls it off. Yeah, if he does make if he does make it to obviously 420, we saw you know the, the Devin Haney who be Regis Perger you look excellent. But I don't know how will you break down this fight if it does take place. Look, man, uh, regardless, even Ryan Garcia had the perfect camp and he wasn't showing these signs of, of any issues and personal issues outside the ring. I still will favor Devin Haney. I favor Devin Haney over over anybody. I mean, I just even over Tank. So I think, I think Tank's probably the only one I wouldn't favor him over, but it'll still be a competitive fight. Either way, I think Devin Haney's a beast. At 135, 140, he's a man. If you're Zepeda's management, who do you put him next, and who do you avoid? I would, I would manage him to, to keep doing main events like this. Do it all over Las Vegas. Do it in, in, in Southern California. Do it in Texas. Keep doing this. I mean, he's becoming a star. Uh, you don't need to rush him right into the, the hard shots. I think a, a, a fight with like Edwin De Santos it makes all the sense in the world. If he can knock out De Santos, do something that Shakur couldn't do, that's how you turn heads. That's how you get the attention of Shakur. And of course, Shakur Stevenson's a master boxer. With the style of Zabeda, how do you give him the best chance to, to, to win that fight? Who's Zabeda? Yeah. Uh, break him down, punch him between the shots. Uh, of course, that that pressure, body shots. Forget the head. Don't, you're not even going to land any head shots on on Shakur Stevenson. No one does. No one does. So just aim at the body, try to chop him down, and cross your fingers that you're able to land one in one of those ribs and, and hurt someone like that. And Sabeda's so not a big trash talker. Does he have to become a trash talker? No, 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 no. Mexican fighters, they're not trash talkers. Chavez, you know, Salvador Santos, these are the humble warriors that do all the talking in the ring. Uh, Sergio, no, no, this, uh, Mike Tyson. Mike, oh, no. Sorry, Mike Tyson, 58. What? What? Are, what are, is that good for boxing? A fight, you know, fighting a, a Jake Paul who's obviously in mid, I think, late 20s. Look, man, I, I've always been uh, a, a, a critic of, of Jake Paul and you know having him fight real fighters and boxers. Um, but fighting a fighter that hasn't fought in over 20 years, and Mike Tyson, he got beat, you know, 20 years ago. And he lost the last two fights. Got knocked out. Yeah, he got like, knocked out the last two fights. So. At 57, 58 years by, old, by, by come on, man! You're, you're, you're fighting the senior citizens, you know, and, and it's not fair. I mean, he can look for, he can look like a beast, Mike Tyson, for like the, the, the 10 second clips that he posts on social media. Anyone could do. I can look like a killer right now on the pads for 10 seconds, but as soon as you turn that camera off, you'll be puffing and puffing and sore. Mike Tyson's not, it's not going to be a good look for his legacy. He's going to raise a lot of money. People are going to watch, but I don't like the fight. Are you tuning in? <laughs> you think, you think Mike Tyson gets knocked out? If there's no headgear, if there's no headgear, I think I think Mike gets uh, I think Mike gets 
beat him where they probably stopped the fight. Wow. I hate to say that. Thanks. I hate to say that. If he that. does knock him out, would Sergio come back and, and face Jake Paul? I mean, I'll fake Jake Paul for free. Jake Paul, I'll fight you for free anytime. <laughs> I'm weighing 190 now, so let me know. Make it work. I'll take it, Sergio. Thank you, Sergio.